Hello my friends and welcome once again to another episode of Tony's Comfort Kitchen. Now then, uh, it's been a few months since I made a Chinese dish. It's been about uh, three months I think. So I fancy doing another one today. And uh, today I decided to do a... <laughs> now wait for this. Gung Bao Ji Ding. Gung Bao Ji Ding. I think. Um, I hope. Uh, anyway, uh, to us Westerners, it goes by the classic name of uh, Kung Po Chicken, uh, and it's a it's a classic uh, dish from the Shekwan region of China, uh, and it's super tasty, super quick to make, and super easy. So let's get on with it. Okay, to start off with, I have uh, I think it's the meat of three uh, chicken thighs here, chopped up into fairly small bite-sized pieces. And to that, I'm going to add one or two ingredients, just as a little marinade, just for a short while. Uh, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice wine, and the equivalent of one teaspoon of corn flour. I'm just going to mix it all up. The idea is that the cornflour will uh, put a little coating on the uh, the chicken when we come to uh, when we come to fry it. Uh, now then, this is a Shakuan dish, as I say, from the Shakuan region, and uh, the Shakuan region is famous for. And I'll show you in one second. First of all, chili. They like their chili, <laughs> and I have about seven or eight. I think it's eight or nine um, chilies here, Chinese chilies, uh, cut up into a centimeter uh, long pieces. Basically, I just snip with a pair of scissors the end off the, the chili, take out all of the, I don't know if you can see this on camera, take out all the chili um, seeds, because we don't need those, and then just cut it up. Into, uh, into pieces like that. The other thing it's noted for is it's peppercorns, They're, which actually are not actually peppercorns. They're actually a seed, or sorry, a bud of a citrus uh, bush. Uh, and it has a very citrusy smell to it. And it has an unusual sort of um, numbing that uh, if you Basically, when you're eating these, if you get it on your lips or your tongue, it gives a little numbing sensation, which is rather strange. Um, but the taste, the flavour of these things is lovely, absolutely adorable. So that's classic uh, Shekwan cooking, so you will need these to go into the dish. Um, and I will put a link, oops, they're going everywhere. I'll put a link to these in the description below. Okay, so there's one final thing we need to do before we start cooking. Uh, because once you get cooking, everything cooks very, very quickly in this dish, as in well, most Chinese dishes. So we need to make everything, prepare everything first, uh, and then we'll be uh, ready to cook. So first of all, we need to make a sauce, uh, which is one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of uh, black Chinese black vinegar. Now then, this is probably something that you you. You might not be able to get hold of, a bit like the Chinese chilies and the uh, the Shekwa peppercorns, but I will put a link, as I say, to these in the description below where you can buy them from. But this uh, black vinegar, if you don't have it and you've got everything else, you can substitute this for 50% uh, white wine vinegar and 50% balsamic vinegar, because it's quite a mild uh, vinegar. It's not sweet, but it's, it's, it's a very mild vinegar. Uh, to that, we need one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and finally, one teaspoon of light soy sauce. And that is the sauce done. Just mix it up, let that sugar dissolve into the liquids, and we're ready to rumble. Okay, we're just gonna heat the pan up till it's uh, nice and uh, nice and hot. Start to smoke now, so I'll add uh, about three tablespoons 
of oil, vegetable oil. Now once they get cooking, everything has to go in in, in rapid succession because otherwise you'll burn uh, the, uh, the chilies and the peppercorns and we don't want to be doing that. Okay, so we're starting to smoke, so in go the chilies and the peppercorns. They're popping. Ow! Quickly stir those in. Then in goes some green. Woo! Popping. Some green onions. Cut about the same size as the chicken. Then in goes some purely optional MSG. Followed by the chicken. Keep stirring everything around, keep it on the move. And into that goes two teaspoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of minced ginger. Hope you can hear me above this noise. <coughs> catches the back of your throat a bit. Let that chicken cook a bit first before we add the, uh, the sauce. Now time to add the sauce. And you can see it's starting to thicken partly because the um, the corn flour that was in the, the little uh, uh, marinade that we made. Finally it goes in 120 grams of peanuts. All of the items and measurements will be in the description uh, below so you can check those out if you want to make this dish and I hope you will. Going to add a little bit of water. It shouldn't take long to cook the chicken because the chicken has actually been cut up quite small uh, and it was a very high heat so it all should be uh, good to eat. Now just to finish it off I have, if I can get it mixed up, it's a slurry just made up with uh, some more um, corn flour and a bit of water. Now we'll just bring it all together and, and it will be ready to eat. Okay my friends, it's time to try it out. Uh, you have to excuse me, I've got a fork and not some chopsticks. Uh, uh, but chopsticks are in a box somewhere, I don't know where they are. So, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. It's, um, it's spicy, but it's not too spicy, those chilies. It seemed like there was an awful lot of chilli in there, but they're not particularly hot chilli, excuse me, I've got peanut. <laughs> um, they're not particularly hot chilies, so it, it, as I say, it seems like a lot of chilies, but it's not. But uh, what I do get is is the uh, the shekel and peppercorns. You can, you can feel a little numbingness. Um, it's not a strong sensation, but it's there, you know. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's not the first time I've made it. I've made it quite a few times. Mm. You also get the um, taste of the vinegar, that black vinegar. It's, um, as I say, it's, it's quite a mild flavoured vinegar, um, but not as sweet as a, say, a balsamic. 
get all the ingredients that you possibly can't get in a, a local supermarket. I will put links to where you can buy them in the description below. If you like what you've seen, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace and love my friends. Peace and love.